Okay guys, how's it going? We are back again, 12 at 12. So our second live workout today. We had our fasted cardio and core workout this morning and now back to the usual standards, 12 minutes at 12. So as always guys, three quick tablet drills to do. We're just gonna blast them out one after the other. Uh, very, very little equipment needed today. All we're gonna use is our two bags of rice. Um, if you don't have two similar weight bags of rice, two tans of two cans of tin food, like two tins of chopped tomatoes or something like that. Um, we're going to be using them to do some shoulder exercises in a while. Uh, but our very first tab of that is going to be just body weight and it's going to be all on the shoulders. Um, now I'm going to try challenge you. So normally the way tab of it works is it is 20 seconds on followed by 10 seconds rest. That's repeated eight times in total for a total of four minutes. Normally the 10 seconds is complete not a rest. We're going to try actually hold through that today doing a static hold with our hands out here like this. So basically this entire tablet, four minutes long, we're going to try to have our hands outstretched to the side, elbows straight, back straight. Okay, so you're not leaning back into it at all. Um, and we're going to be doing different exercises then with our hands out there. So it's an old boxing drill I used to do. Um, it just gets you used to that lactic acid building up in the shoulders and when you're boxing you always want to have your, your guard up, you want to be able to keep your hands up. So that does get very, very draining, especially when you're wearing gloves and pads and all that, or gloves and wraps. Your hands start getting heavy, you're throwing a lot of punches, so your hands start to kind of fall, but obviously you want your hands up for your guard. So this is a great way of building up that muscular endurance in the shoulders, getting you used to that lactic acid build up. Uh, so yeah, nothing needed whatsoever, just yourself, just body weight, and we set up our tablet timer for the first one. So we're ready to rock guys, starting on the shoulders. Okay, I'll show you face on for the first one. So hands up the shoulder height, and we're just going to do rotations, open the palms of that, and we're going to rotate, I'm going to step back a bit there, and I'm not sure why the, the camera is picking me up at the angle or anything. So, rotating backwards, Three, so that the palm two, faces one, the ceiling. Okay, so instead of resting, we're just going to try holding them up there for the next 10. Okay, so, Three, we might not do this for every 10. One. So, next 20 now, we're just going to do very small circles, and we're going backwards with that rotation again. So, really, really small circles. I'm going to do the first four guys facing you here now and then the second four I'll turn the side out so show you a little different angle okay so again for our 10 now we're going to rest but in this isometric contraction with the hands out this time we're going to rotate forward so you're going to get a lot less movement by rotating forward but you're working those rotator cuff muscles in the shoulder. Three, two, one. Great stuff, guys. Again, we're just going to hold now for the 10 rather than complete rest. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And now it's little small circles going forward. Keep getting plenty of oxygen around guys, that lactic acid is building up really quickly in the shoulder. Three, two, one. Excellent stuff. So I'm going to turn to a bit of a side angle now. So just to show you that the, the back is nice and straight, the arms are straight. Two, one. And we're going back to those reverse rotations. So we have a total of four done and we're repeating those four now again. For the 10 seconds this time, we're going to do just slightly different. Three, two, one. Okay, so this time for the 10, we're opening and closing a fist. Three, two, one. Okay, little reverse circles again. Back is straight, elbows are straight. The hands are just above shoulder height, not way up in the air. If they're up above your head, they're too high. Three, two, one. Excellent stuff. So back to opening and closing the wrists, or the fists, sorry. Three, two, one. And now we're back. 
back to our forward rotation, getting that rotator cuff working again. Lactic acid is really building up and burning now, guys. So don't worry if you need to drop it for the next 10 seconds. Next 10 is the last 10. So opening and closing of the fists again. Back on the little mini forward circles to finish. Breathe through it, guys. My left shoulder, especially when it was burning. Brilliant, guys. Well done. Um, so, yeah, great, great boxing drill I used to. Builds up the lactic acid in the shoulder, gets used to keeping your guard up, having that muscular endurance to be able to keep your guard up throughout an entire fight. Uh, so it was a really, really good one. We're going to move on to another shoulder tablet drill now. And we're going to use our two bags of rice, two tins of food, whatever you have, two dumbbells, two kettlebells, two weight plates. Just basically want a similar weight in each hand. We are going to do four shoulder exercises. So the shoulder muscle, it's called a deltoid, and it's broken up into three different heads. You have a rear, front, and side. We won't go into the fancy names. Back, front, side. Um, and we're going to hit all three of those individually, and then we're going to finish with a press. Just checking where the light is there over my head. Um, so our first one, we're going to hit the, the rear delt at the back, which will be the weaker of the three for 99% of people. So we're going to kick the hips up behind. We're going to come over into a bent over position on that with the back straight and we're going to do bent over laterals just very slow and controlled elbows straight bring them up to shoulder height a tiny fraction of a pause and down after we finish the bent over laterals we're going to come upright nice straight position we're going to start from the pockets and we'll just turn slightly there to show you side on so we're starting from the pockets we're going to raise the bags of rice to the front and we're going to internally rotate our hands so that our knuckles Come together in the middle, right up at eye level. Okay. After the front raise, we're gonna go ladder raises. So we start the pockets again, same upright position. This time we rotate out to the sides, and we have a slight rotation again of the hand, which I basically call pouring the jug. So if you imagine you're you're pouring a jug of water, that's the rotation you want. Now you want it happening as you're doing the raise, okay? They're not two separate movements. You're pouring the jug as you're raising it, okay? So once we do our bent over raise, our front raise and our side raise, we're then going to do our shoulder press straight up overhead to lock out. So four on the shoulders, guys. And then we repeat all four again. Bent over raises first. Kick the hips up behind. You can go fairly quickly on the way up, but always slow and controlled on the way down. Controlling your descent. Don't let the weight just fall. Always keep control of the weight with the shoulder. And always squeeze in that last extra rep. Front raises. Nice upright position, back straight, chest up. Starting from the pockets, up, and an internal rotation so that your knuckles come together in the middle. And again, you're just coming to kind of like shoulder level, eye level. Going way up above the head is actually totally unnecessary and it doesn't actually offer any benefit. It's better to do them where you're just going to shoulder level. Ladder raises, stay in start position, back straight. Head and chest up, from the pockets, up, and pour the jug. Rotate the hand, the wrist, so that your little finger ends up slightly higher than your thumb. And again, just going to around shoulder height, eye level. Have some stuff. Check over your head always before you're doing any overhead pressing. We're not in the way of the, the light there up overhead. Shoulder stance, back straight, core tight. Now, this is the easiest of the three exercises. 
in co consideration of the, the weight that we're using, so the kg each hand. So as you can see, I'm blasting out quite a lot of reps, really up in the tempo on these. Good stuff guys. Back around to our bent over laterals, slight different angle to show you this time. So we kick the hips up behind, chest over parallel, and we're bringing the bags of rice out in a nice straight line, keeping the elbows straight. We're not letting the back interfere with this. We're not squeezing the shoulder blades. We're just coming up the shoulder height, a little pause, and down. So it's the back of the shoulders where you should feel it. Never the, never the middle back in here. You're never squeezing the shoulder blades. Front raises, head and chest up, starting from the pockets, up to eye level with that internal rotation, bring the knuckles together in the middle. Again, you can go fairly quickly on the way up, but slow and controlled, always control that descent down with the weight. You're bringing the weight down, it's not just falling down. Great stuff. Lateral raises. Shoulder stance, head and chest up. Start from the pockets. The important aspect with these now, guys, I might actually kind of turn as we're going, is not to let the weights come out in front of the body. So you want them straight in line with the shoulders. You see a lot of people doing these where the, the weights go way out in front. You never want that. Back here, in line with the pockets, throughout. Okay, check overhead for the length again, guys. So you say on this time shoulder press, shoulder stance, back straight, core tight, and last out reps. Explosive up, control the descent. The descent can be a little quicker, but just once it's controlled. It's the last 20 seconds anyway for shoulders. So I want to get as many as possible. If you did have a heavier weight for this, you'd be flying it. Be good to use heavier on this. Great stuff, guys, for that. That is two for the shoulders done, we've got four minutes left and we're going to bring our focus down onto the legs, okay? So well done, we're getting there. Um, we're going to do two different leg exercises. So our first one is going to be a regular hip width stance squat. So head and chest up, nice deep reps, dropping the glutes down below the knees. Good full range of motion, okay? And then our second one, we're just going to go with two of the, the best leg exercises, I think, really. Um, ones we can do from home, anyway. Our squats and lunges. If I was in a gym and I was looking for an added extra, it might be something like a leg press, to be honest, another big compound move. Uh, leg press, then we'll take a bit of pressure off your lower back. But it's still a big compound exercise that's working the, the quads on the front of the legs, the hamstrings on the back of the legs, and the glutes. Uh, so squats is first. Forward lunges in a second, and we're just going to alternate those two. So I'm just going to show you body weight today, guys. Um, I'm actually planning on doing a run tomorrow, so I'm going to save my legs for that. But you can add any weight, whatever way you like. Holding weight at chest level, a backpack on your back, dumbbells or kettlebells or something in your hand, a medicine ball. Whatever access you have to some extra resistance, use it. The legs are big, big, strong muscle groups, so don't be afraid to use a bit of weight on them. So starting with squats guys, regular stance, shoulder width, head and chest up, nice deep reps, dropping as deep as we can. We probably won't go all the way to a thousand today, like we did last week. Thanks again for that one Andrew. Legs are still recovering. Good stuff. Okay, squats done. Forward lunge and next. So again today, I'm just showing you body weight, but feel free to add as much extra weight as you can. Whatever you can find around the house. A couple of shopping bags in each hand, fill them up with a few bits and pieces, bag of rice, bag of oats, to the tomatoes, whatever you got. And yeah, the legs are big, strong muscle groups, so they should be able for big heavy weights. 
you always want good full range of motion on your squats guys I'm probably getting my knees cracking if your joints are cracking guys once you're not sore don't worry about it those cracking sounds 99.9% of the time just a bit of air so nothing to fear if you're experiencing cracking sounds and a lot of pain get it checked out But once it's pain free, try that. Same thing as cracking your knuckles. Okay? It's not a, it's not like the old myth where cracking your knuckles is gonna give you arthritis. Three, two, cracking one. your knees isn't gonna do any damage either. Squats, I'll show you side on. You see my back nice Three, and straight. Two, you see what depth I'm getting. One. Through the reps. Always go as deep as you can go, guys. All of us have different flexibility. Different flexibility, different range of motion. But go as deep as you can. Just keep the technique strict. Lunges again. So, even though I'm just using body right here, guys. You might be using weight at home yourselves. I can actually feel the heart rate getting up. So don't really challenge. Two, one, Doing these uh, big compound exercises. Doing them intensely for 20 and only resting for 10 is tough. Three, so last two, of the squats. One. Keep breathing through. Get plenty of oxygen around the body. Down to the legs. Helping them recover. To our final 20 seconds for today, guys. 12 with 12 arms done again. Three, two, one. Final set of lunges. Nice deep reps. Powering up off the front foot. Keep the tempo high. It's our last one. We're going to finish out strong. As many reps as possible until the end. Final five. We get two more legs straight in. Squeezing the last one. And rest. Brilliant job guys with them. So again, those two workouts for us now today already. We got in our fast days, cardio and core work. This morning about nine, got the breakfast in, cleaned the house, washed the hands, did the usual, and then back for our 12 or 12. Gotta get another meal in, and wash the hands and all the usual again. So hope you enjoy guys. Um, Easter weekend, please stay safe, stay at home, help the HSE, as well as everything else guys, like those making unnecessary trips, the longer this lasts, the harder it's going to be for me to continue to find new colour t-shirts, I'm into my pink today, so help the HSE and help coach get back to work, stay safe guys, talk to you soon.